I hope you can't tell how dirty my glasses are because of the ring light. <laughs> you probably can. Hey guys, it's Laurel, and excuse the ratchetness that is everything that I am right now. It is very late at night. I have been packing for the past hour and a half and I leave in less than 24 hours to go to Austin and straight from Austin I'm going to LA. So I had to pack for Austin and LA. But before I started packing for LA I wanted to film this video because recently I mentioned on Snapchat and Twitter that I went shopping because I wanted to get some trendy clothes and then some notebooks to take notes and etc like that. So I figured I'd do a video showing all the things that I recently bought for the sole purpose to go to LA for YouTube next up. I can't believe that's happening. I can't believe that's a real thing. The first thing that I wanted right away was this. Crest has these whitening strips, which I've used for a while, but they came out with this two-step toothpastes that you do one, then you don't rinse, and then you do the other. And it's supposed to whiten your teeth. Is it working? Because I've been using it for a few days now. My teeth have always been yellow, especially after I had braces. So I try really hard to keep them white, but it's just not in my genetics. And the next two things that I really wanted to invest in was a second battery for my main camera, which is the one I am using right now. I've only ever had one battery for it, so I decided to get a second one so I can switch them in and out and have one on a charger while the other one is in the camera. Because I don't know how much we're gonna be filming and I don't wanna be unprepared which also is the reason that I got another memory card. And no, I don't usually spend the money to get the 128 gigabyte memory card, but they were having a sale, and so this was basically the price of a 32 gig. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna buy that. I just wanna be prepared! Here's another thing that I bought recently. I actually didn't buy this with Next Up in mind, but I did buy this because of Next Up. Let me rewind and rephrase. Before I could announce that I was a part of YouTube Next Up, they were sending us paperwork to fill out and stuff like that so that they could do background checks and etc, etc. I don't have a printer here and I don't have a scanner and I had to print stuff out and scan it so that I can sign it. So I spent some time at FedEx and while I was there, they needed me to have a flash drive and I didn't have one so I literally bought one while I was there. But I'm bringing this because I want, I want to be prepared. And, like I mentioned in two separate videos recently, Office Max was having a complete store sale because the one store in my area was closing down. I got this cute notebook. I like that it's like a hardcover. It looks just like a regular book, but inside it's just got notebook paper, which is just super nice. I figured I could take notes on this. I also invested in a teal binder. This is my favorite color. It matches the new channel art that's on my channel. If you guys haven't even noticed yet, how have you not noticed there's new channel art on my channel? My friend Matt Bailey, who was in Heathers with me, teamed up with me to create some new channel art and a new end card. If you guys like that, I'll put his information in the description. But you should go check it out. That has nothing to do with this video except that this matches. You're welcome. The next few things you're gonna see are just a bunch of notebooks. I don't know if I'm gonna use any of them or all of them, but they're so cute. Look at this. This is tiny and that's adorable to me. Really just the size of my face, but I can't handle it. It matches. This. What is this? What is this monstrosity? How dare they put this in front of my face and not expect me to spend all of my money on it. Everything that I bought has to do with food. Give pizza a chance! Shake it. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything with burritos on them. Obviously, they didn't have me in mind when they were creating these things. This is the only one that I bought that didn't have to do with food, but I thought it was really cute. It'll help me think of Rosie while I'm gone. Because my constant allergies will probably not exist when I'm not around her, so... I need something to remember her by. And last but not least, I got a folder because I wasn't sure if they were going to be giving us any paperwork, which is also why I got the binder to go with it so the folder would go in the binder. And look, they match. It's so, it's just so lovely. I feel like I'm going to school again and you think that I'd be less excited about that, but I'm not. I'm incredibly excited about it. All right, now that I've borne you with stationery, it's time to move on to clothes because obviously I bought some of that too. So here are just a few pieces that I bought last week at the outlet mall. I got this hat at Forever 21 and oh my goodness. First of all, the color is gorgeous. It's like a pastel white and blue mix and I'm obsessed with it. Look at it. I'm adorable. 
Now, I also found these two dresses at Forever 21. I was intrigued by this dress mostly because of the crushed velvet, but also because I don't know what the color is. And when I picked it up, I was like, there's no way I can wear this color. But it changes. You probably can't tell because of the ring light, but in every shadow, it changes colors. And so on my skin, it doesn't look super pinky. It looks more gray or purple, and I'm so intrigued by it. I think I'm in love with this dress. It's not even a very good shape for me, but I don't care. I am in love with this dress. And then here's the second dress that I also got at Forever 21, and oh look, it just looks like a plain, boring-ass dress, whatever. But because of the fabric, it's tight, but it molds to my shape. But it's modest at the same time because the neckline is so high, and then it's long enough that it covers my butt! This never happens. Look at the back, look at that. Wow, that's super cute. And it was really cheap. It was only $10 at the outlet mall. God, I love outlets. Probably mankind's best creation ever, ever, seriously, ever. They never made anything better. And the only other store we went to while we were at the outlet malls was Express, and I never shopped there, mainly because of the prices. But with that in mind, these three things were just to die for. So this is sort of a crop top, it's tight, and it's short. I've been seeing this neckline a lot, like everywhere, but the way that this is, it's, there's no ties, so it's like perfectly modest. And I love the three quarter length sleeve, because I always end up rolling my sleeves up anyway, so now I don't have to. Now I will say this sweater that I'm about to show you, I saw in a mannequin in a different color, and they only had that color of sweater in an extra small, and girl, these don't fit in an extra small. So I got the next best color, which is like a navy blue and black mix. Oh wow, you can see everything from here. But I was wearing a nude bra that day, and I tried it on just for fun, because I didn't think it would look good on me. And it's actually like tasteful and sexy at the same time. I never like to show cleavage, but there's something about these three shirts that it's like, it's almost okay. Everyone's doing it. Everybody's jumping off the bridge. I'm gonna too. Of course, the third shirt that I bought there had to have the same neckline, obviously. But this is my favorite color, once again. It made my waist look tiny and my arms look tiny, but my boobs look great. Those are the three things that I care about. Boobs, waist, and arms. I thought that would sound catchier in my head. Okay, so that's all that I bought for this trip. Um, everything else that I'm bringing is stuff that I've already pre-owned, most likely. I hope you guys enjoyed this little rambly video. I'm gonna go to sleep because I have to get on a plane in like, this is in a watch, eight hours. I love you guys so much. If you liked this video, give it a like and share it with your friends because that really helps me. Also make sure to comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to me if you haven't because I am planning on vlogging while I'm at the YouTube space in LA and I think that's gonna be really cool and you don't wanna miss out on it, so. That was really annoying. I will see you guys on the tube. Later. Skaters.